ready, go ahead and install yet another mail merge. You can do this one of two ways. You can either go to the G Suite Marketplace and install it there by searching for yet another mail merge, or you can go to their website and install it from here. So the first thing we are going to do is hop in to your Google Sheet, and our first column is going to be uh, ID. Our second column will be first name. Second or third column would be um, last name. And then our last column is going to be email address. So now we need to get our certificate. And you could just send an email that says, hey, first name, here's your certificate attached. Or you could do like a photo of your certificate with the attachment. Um, so to do the certificate that's personalized as a photo in the email along with the attachment, we are going to jump into Google Docs and start from a blank document. And the key to creating a newsletter within um, Google Docs is to use tables. So we are going to insert a table. And I went ahead and just screenshotted the first half of our certificate in the bottom half. So I'm gonna drop that into this table. And then I'm going to do the mail merge fields, which will be first name, last name. And then I'm going to grab the bottom and drag that into here. And now I want to center this whole thing. So I'm gonna right click and click table properties and I'm going to do table alignment as center and click OK. I'm going to highlight this and center this as well and make the font a little bigger and bold. And obviously it looks like I've just cut in between. So I am going to take a color picker and grab the color behind here. And now I'm going to right click again, click table properties, and I'm going to change the cell background color to that color I just picked up. Click OK. And I'm going to get rid of this border. Click OK. So now it looks more cohesive. So um, now I'm going to just select all, copy this, and open Gmail and do a new email and paste that in. And then for the subject line, I'm going to have congrats, first name, here is your certificate for completing Maker Pat Bootcamp. And I'm just going to X out of it I'm going to hop into my drafts folder and I'm going to star it because if you star draft, it will um, take precedence in your mail merge template selection. So now that I have um, the body of my email, I'm now going to jump into Google Drive and I am going to upload my PDF certificate and you want to make sure that your um, Files are share, shareable. So, but first of all, I'm going to rename this for the sake of example. I'm going to rename this and do underscore my name underscore uh, 001. And let's say I had multiple. So, I'm just going to make a copy real quick and change this to. And this number will be 002. And now I'm gonna make sure it's shareable. So now I'm ready to bulk upload my attachment. So go back into Google Sheets and let's say I had a list in here that was 001, change the formatting, 001, 002. So now let's click on add-ons, yet another mail merge and click start mail merge. If you had a lot of contacts, I would recommend doing um, this based off like an ID number or a special number, just in case you have people with the same last name. 
Um, but if you are only doing a few, it's a little bit easier to scan and check. So I'm going to click on email template and there's the email I drafted. And now I'm going to click on this plus alias filters personalized attachments. And I'm going to import from drive folder. And if you are clicking around and you, so let's say I click into this folder and double click, nothing shows. So when you are selecting the folder that has your attachments, simply just click it once and then press select. And then you'll get to this next um, uh, window. And then you can check your attachment to match against either ID, first name, last name, or email address. So um, we'll do ID and import files. So now you can see that the attachments um, have matched up to the ID number. And I've, I now have this box click, uh, checked that says attach files in column F to email sent. Now go back and I'm going to uh, send the two emails. You'll now see a merge status column appear. So now I'll hop into my Gmail and here is the email I created and you can see that it inserted the first name and here is the attachment. And so uh, Tom would have gotten his attachment and it would have said to Tom and so on. So this has been a quick tutorial on how you can use Mail Merge to send personalized attachments in bulk. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out within the MakerPad community. Thanks for watching.